to say the Boston Celtics are all in on Anthony Davis may be an understatement. The Celtics not only remain outwardly fearless in their pursuit of the New Orleans Pelican superstar but believe they could convince Davis to stay long-term in Boston if they trade for him this summer, ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski and Zach Lowe reported Thursday in a must-read article. Some brief background, Boston covets Davis after his public trade request but can't acquire him until July 1 due to the Rose Rule. Davis also is a free agent after the 2019-20 season, and his stated intention will be to sign with the Los Angeles Lakers in 2020 regardless of where he plays next season, Wojnarowski and Lowe reported. So, why do the Seas believe they can entice Davis into sticking around? For one, Boston is confident Kyrie Irving will re-sign this summer even if it doesn't land Davis, and despite reports the All-Star guard is considering leaving in free agency, per ESPN. Furthermore, the Celtics think acquiring Davis would clinch Irving staying in Boston. Which leads to this note from ESPN, for now, the Celtics are unconvinced that Davis would be willing to walk out on a championship core with Boston for the Lakers. Boston's done a tremendous amount of research on Davis, especially intense in the past 18 months, league sources said. In this edition, as long as ominous back-channel warnings don't give Ainge pause, the Celtics believe they could convince Davis to stay long-term, clinching Irving's future in New England. Considering Irving and Davis are close friends from their USA basketball days, there's some merit to Boston's optimism. If all goes well in the 2019-20 season, would Davis really leave the Celtics in 2020 to join LeBron James, who turns 36 that December? The ESPN article is worth a full read, it highlights causes for Boston's concern, such as the New York Knicks winning the NBA draft lottery and topping the Celtics trade package by offering New Orleans the chance to draft Duke's Zion Williamson. But the main takeaway is that Danny Ainge and Co are confident their current setup is rosy enough to keep both Irving and Davis in Celtics uniforms for years to come. Click here to download the new MyDeams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device. Boston Celtics forward Jalen Brown is one of the best dunkers in the NBA, so it would be pretty disappointing if he didn't participate in the upcoming slam dunk contest at NBA All-Star Weekend in Charlotte next month. Brown had a few impressive dunks in the Celtics' 126-94 win over the Charlotte Hornets at TD Garden on Wednesday night, and even Boston head coach Brad Stevens was impressed with the athleticism he saw from the 22-year-old. Coach Stevens on Jalen Brown, his dunks are sweet, face with tears of joy. It was two of his team-high 24 points on the night. Jalen Brown gets the steal and takes it all the way home, at Ain. Of the Dallas Mavericks If the NBA wants to put on a real show at this event, an invitation should be sent to Brown, click here to download the new MyDeams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device. NBA insiders have done the math, and here's the result, the Boston Celtics have pole position in the race for Anthony Davis. Chris Mannix said Wednesday on NBC Sports Boston the Celtics' chances of acquiring the Pelicans forward in a trade will soar to 90% if New Orleans doesn't move him before the February 7 NBA trade deadline. Where does that leave the Los Angeles Lakers, who may be Boston's primary competition for Davis? Former NBA front office executive Bobby Marks puts the Lakers' chances of landing the Pelicans' big man at 1%. I say that because we know who's sitting on the sidelines until July 1st, the Celtics, Marks said Thursday morning on ESPN's Sports Center. I think the only way Anthony Davis gets to Los Angeles is as a free agent in 2020, because I don't see the pieces the Lakers have right now at the deadline and in the offseason enticing the Pelicans to go out and make a deal. Marks agrees with Mannix that the Celtics have much better trade assets than the Lakers, which he believes is the most important factor in the Davis sweepstakes. I think Boston has all the power right now, Mark said, Boston has the assets, the players to go out and get a deal done with draft picks.
the only holding point is that they're going to have to wait until July 1st to get a deal done, that's because of the Rose Rule, which prevents the Celtics from having Kyrie Irving and Davis on the same roster this season. But the Seas will possess a wealth of assets by July 1st. They could have up to four first-round picks in the 2019 NBA Draft in addition to young, talented players like Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. And while Boston will be on the sidelines until the summer, Mark Snow at Ainge still can do his due diligence by touching base with Pelicans general manager Del Demps. Danny Ainge can call Del Demps and get a framework of a deal done that can happen July 1st, Mark said, there's nothing prohibiting that. And that gives New Orleans a working table to what the assets are, whether Ainge would be willing to include Tatum among those assets is uncertain, as is Davis's future past the 2019-20 season, the last on his current contract. But in the short term, Boston appears to hold the trump card if the Pelicans want to get the most out of trading their superstar. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device.